Piano teachers, how to know that your students apply the correct amount of energy when they are playing with their hands on the piano keyboard. They have to have their fingers al dente, not very well cooked pasta. When we eat al dente pasta, we can feel a little bit when we chew it, the taste. We can understand that it's a little bit hard, but not so hard that it breaks in two like with overcooked pasta, so our hands cannot be... They cannot apply that much force that they lose their flexibility and eventually the hand starts to hurt because, because of all this pressure that we apply. On the other hand, they cannot be overcooked to that point that they become so light that when your students play, you can do this without warning them that you're going to do this. Apply a little bit of power with your hand while they play. Let's say my right hand is my student and my left hand is mine as a teacher. I'm playing without applying any force. I'm just pressing the keys. I don't have much energy. Just a little bit just to press the keys. My left hand is not applying too much force and yet it was able to move the hands to derail it from the piano. So if that happens with your students, that means that their fingers are not al dente. They have to have the correct amount of energy so that if I apply a little bit of power with my hand to move it, I cannot do it. There is some resistance. So, you can use the Italian cuisine as an example, especially with adult students. We all have tasted al dente pasta and apply it on the fingers of our piano students. Al dente fingers, not overcooked and not so overcooked that they break in two. Have a good practice.